In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create flow charts and flow diagrams in Trello. Trello is a project management software and it has many power-ups which you can assume as add-ons that add additional functionality to Trello. And one of these add-ons which is diagrams.net allows you to create flow charts, UML diagrams and other diagrams inside Trello. So why it is important? Because flowchart softwares are normally very expensive. Either you have to pay a monthly subscription or a very large amount upfront. And I have discussed this topic in another video. And the second reason is that for project management, sometimes it is critical for you to create some flowcharts. And by using these power-ups, you can add these flow diagrams very easily. Previously on a free Trello account, you are able to use only one power-up. But now Trello has allowed to use as many power up as you want in your free Trello accounts. And this power up diagrams.net allows you to export your flow charts in many formats such as PNG, PDF or a vector format called SVG, which is fantastic. So without further ado, let me show you how you can create flow charts in Trello. Now to access Trello, you simply type Trello in Google and Trello.com is the website and if you don't have any Trello account you can click on sign up for your account because I already have an account so I will click on log into Trello and these are my Trello boards which I have created over the last few years so let me open this board Trello training and this board was created when I designed a course for Trello and now if I click on these power-ups, so if I click on add power-ups, this is the message from Trello. Previously, you were only able to add one power-up for free. Then you would have to move to the paid account. And to search for power-ups, you click in this search area. And I type flow diagrams. And this is the power-up I want to add, diagrams.net. So I click on that. And this is a disclaimer from Trello and few things about this power up. And now I click on add. And now there is a brief introduction to this power up, but I want to close this. So I close this. And now I click on this power ups and I can see this power up. And now I click on these three dots and I click on add a card. And I type, let's say, flow chart. And I click on that. On the right hand side, I have this new tab added due to this power up. So I click on that and now I can add a flow chart. So let me give it a name flow chart one. And then I have to select file type and I click create. So I have to authorize this application. And this is the message that draw.io will be able to use your account until you disable it. So once you have created the flow diagrams, you might want to consider disabling this. And here as you can see that it will have the access to all of my boards in my workspaces. So I click allow and now I have all the tools available to make flow charts. I can simply click on any shape and I can drag it. And if this element is selected on the right hand side, I can give it any color I want, any line type I want, any line color. If you want a shadow, you check this shadow box and all those tools that you normally use to create a flow diagram. So let me add this one. Now in order to connect these and you can resize them in any direction. And if you hover over this arrow and click, then you can connect this to one at the top. If you want to add a line, you can connect this line to anywhere you want. Then you click on this line, click and drag and it will be connected. So in this way, you can start building your flow charts inside Trello. You can also insert text by clicking on this plus and then text. And now you can write your text in this arrange area you can send any element to back you can align and if you want to put this text on top of this you can put something like that the description of this and just like lines you can add other arrow shapes and there are other tools available for making flowcharts 
and once you have made your flow chart you click on save and it will take few seconds and now you can close this and your diagram has been added in this area so let me click on edit and let me try to export this and see whether it exports in SVG or not export and I click download and yes as you can see there it has downloaded the vector format and I click on export as PDF and I want to download this and let us see how it looks and it looks perfect so if I close this card now as you can see that my card has a flow diagram inserted inside that so this is how you can insert flow charts and flow diagrams in your Trello cards or you can create flow charts and download so I hope you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time